and I think I did. Hey, welcome back to Technology Basics class. Uh, this is Mr. Z. Today we're talking about images, so I'm going to grab some images. I'm going to go Ford truck, and this is on Google search, and it's going to give me a, a bunch of images that it finds on the internet. If you look at these trucks up here, it looks like uh, maybe they took the picture next to a white background, but probably not. They probably use some kind of a photo imaging or photo editor type of program to cut the background out and then add this shadow at the bottom. So we're going to at least work on cutting it out today. So I'm going to take this uh, photo and find it over here and I'm just going to take it and put it on my desktop. And uh, there it is. And when I open that on my Macintosh computer, it has a program called Preview. And this is the preview of that. This preview program, like some other photo editors, has some tools. So we're going to go to the toolkit right up over here and show markup toolbar. So I'm going to show that toolbar, and here's my markup. This first one over here is the one I want to really talk about today. And notice that it has a selection type of thing. We can um, select by a rectangle. We can select by a circle or elliptical. We could lasso it or we could smart lasso it. I'm going to start with the lasso. And I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to start lassoing my truck around here. And I could continue that. But I have to be pretty uh, sturdy in my hand this way to get the lasso all the way around. So maybe that's not the best one. It has this also this smart lasso. And I'm going to try to use this smart lasso type of tool. And I'm going to click on here. And notice that it tries to find the edge automatically for me. So I'm going to go around and it's finding the edge of my tire, hopefully, and my truck, and my tire again. And when I get down to the end, it will automatically make a section based on the differences of the background and the truck itself. Sometimes this works really good and sometimes you might want to just use the lasso tool. But we'll see how this one goes here today. And I go over there, it now makes the lasso. Notice the little squirrely lines for me. Now, if I hit delete here, it is selected the truck itself, right? So I don't want to select the truck itself, I want to select the outside. So I have to go to my like selection and find something up here that says invert selection. Now I inverted the selection, it's now selecting the outside. Invert makes means make opposite and then I'll hit delete. Okay, and it says, oh, I have to convert this from a JPEG image to a PNG image. And you have to know a little bit about those images thing. JPEG doesn't work with a transparent background. And so it's asking you, do you want to convert it to a PNG works with a alpha channel or a, a, a backward? Yes, I want to convert it. And now at that point it converts it and now it takes out the truck, the outside of the truck for me. Notice when I use that magic, it kind of couldn't find those lines very good. Okay, so you might want to just use, if you have a background, that's kind of weird. But at least now you could go file save, okay, and save this and then use it on wherever you want. But remember, this is not your photo, so a, uh, as a school kind of project, it's okay to use. But because it's not your photo and if you were going to use this photo for like, um, you know, your business or something, you would have to get permission from the person who took this photo. So thanks for walking, uh, watching a little bit about preview and the tools and then these lasso tools so that we can uh, uh, use these images and get the background off of them.